Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today we're gonna to be doing the fourth Adobe InDesign video in the series, and that's gonna be talking about guides. Guides are really, really important, especially when you're doing print work. It's to keep everything in sync and everything in line with one another, because if you have just like even a few pixels off, a printed document can go look a little bit strange. Like you can look at a document and be like, man, that, that text isn't centered, or that text is too far to the right or to the left. So what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be creating some guides and I'm gonna be showing you how to create guides so that you can make the guides that are specific to your document. So from any open panel, we're just gonna to go to File, New, and Document. And the reason for this is because whenever you create a new document, it's going to create its own basic set of document guides. And they are right here. They're gonna be the purple guides in your, your setup. So when you start out, you can just go ahead and yeah, manipulate this stuff down here to change these guides around. If you kind of want to add guides later, just go one, one, uh, go down to one, and you can zero all of this stuff out down here. And you'll see that the guides kind of, whoops, click away. The guides go to the very edges, so they disappear. And it gives you a blank document. Now, a lot of people do actually need to work with margins. So you can put the margins in, just like a Microsoft Word or something, and work with the margins like that. And that's really what this is really good at doing is it's creating some solid margins so that later on you can then use other guides to manipulate the, the stuff inside of the margins. So yeah, we're just going to go with the blank document here. So we have no guides attached here. And now there are two ways to add guides to this. One of them is, I guess, sort of a point and click sort of method. So if you have like some text here and you want everything online with that text, you can click on the ruler and drag your guide down and it's gonna be a dark blue guide. And so yeah, uh, if we just go text here, um, this is text. And then we sort of grab the box and bring it up so it's just here. So yeah, we have some text here and now we want everything in line with this. So what we can do is we can grab this again and it'll lock to our box here. So now we have a line here, a guide here, that we can put other objects in line with this text to make sure that everything that we put is in line with the text. Because, for example, if this is a title and we wanted to have a logo you know, in line with it, it'd be really hard to try to guess this. So putting a guide down really helps and it'll allow the logo or whatever you're trying to put next to it to snap to this. If you don't have the rulers, you can just go into view, and mine says hide rulers because I have them. It'll say show rulers right here. And if you don't like the snapping and stuff, there's um, in grids and guides here, you can turn off snapping, smart guides, stuff like that. So to add, now this is just, you know, sort of look at it, throw some guides in there. We're going to highlight both these and delete these. A better way of doing it, especially if you're thinking of creating a giant page with a lot of different you know stuff that's trying to go in sync with another is to go into layout and then down here into create guides if you want to adjust the margin and columns that we created later uh, earlier in the create document that's right here but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here into create guides then make sure the preview button is checked so you can kind of see what's going on here so when we create rows it's going to create these light blue rows here and then when we create columns it's going to turn them into columns Really, really simple interface. Just click up and down, and you can change the gutter. The gutter is this right here. So a lot of times when you're creating, for example, think of like um, if you created a, a magazine article and it fed down here and here and here, you wouldn't want the text to go here and then no gutter in between, and it immediately starts another you know section of text. You want it to actually have a little gutter in there so there's a space in between it. Sometimes you need a really big gutter, sometimes you need a really small one, sometimes you don't need one at all. So that's what this down here gives you control over. What's really cool is you can divide this into, for example, four by four, and now you have like a really good sectioning system, like 16 different boxes. So you can kind of look at it and figure out maybe if the page is weighted one side or the other, there's too much stuff in the top left and not in the bottom right. It's a really cool way to just be able to work with your document and to figure out the flow of the document. Once you click OK, the guides are going to be in here and you can manipulate these guides. You can click them and drag them just like they're ruler guides, but they're going to be preset so that a computer generated these so that they're all perfect. And that's what's really important about that create guides thing is that it's going to create it so that they're all perfect for you. And now once we have the guides, like I said, you can then drag stuff and it's going to lock to it like that. 
you can see it's, it's jumping in between guides, but you can lock it to the area and then you can really manipulate your document a lot better. That's really it on guides. Um, make sure to use them in your document. Those are a great way to organize things. They're a great way to really boost your ability to work faster and to improve your quality. Thanks everyone for joining me. Um, if you want to see more Adobe related content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you got any questions or comments, go ahead and put them in the comments below. And until next time guys, see ya.